Welcome to Evolve Tennis 2, I'm Brent. You're gonna love this. Here we're gonna crank up the intensity and help you take your game from amateur to pro status. Even if you don't play tennis, this is a fantastic and challenging workout for anyone who's at the Evolve 2 level. All right, we're gonna start our warm up. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ready. Okay, first thing I want you to do, we're gonna get into a shoulder rotation, but step into it with a lunge. Keep your arms moving forward and alternate your lunge, okay? Back and forth. We have three mods here. Mod one is your easiest. Mod three is the most difficult. Okay, we'll keep going with that. A couple more steps, and then I'm gonna get you to switch your shoulder rotation, but keep stepping through. All right, so let's go opposite direction with the shoulders. So in our mod one position, we got Steph today. Hello, Steph. Hey, Brent. Mod two, we have Marvin. So if you're increasing your difficulty a little bit, you're going to mod two. Mod three, we have Charlene right here. Mod three is your most difficult. All right, so we're gonna switch up the movement now. Next thing I want you to do is you're gonna go into an A skip, right? Drive your knee up. Okay, as you're doing that, focus on now bringing your knee out to the sides. So we're getting those hips active. You have to move your hands out of the way a little bit, that's fine. Perfect, so through this workout, evolve up or mod down based on your fitness level, okay? We're gonna continue to work on our game, building strength, agility, control with primal movements. If there are any unfamiliar movements, let Jana and Tutorials break them down for you. Good, five more seconds, guys, with that one. Four, three, two. I want you to keep that bounce to your step. We're going opposite arm, opposite leg. Straight leg kick throughs. That's it. You can get progressively higher as you feel the back of your legs loosen up a little. Keep that posture nice and tall all the way through. Excellent. We're rising that heart rate gradually here. We're working on your stabilizers, staying on the toes the entire time, stretching out those hamstrings, and we're getting ready. We're getting ready here. Good, another couple steps, and relax from there. Next one is a walkout, so you're gonna walk all the way out to plank position, bring your right foot towards your right hand. Feel that stretch through the groin, come right back out and repeat on the left side. Let's go right away, here we go. So nice and steady. Now we got shoulder stabilization happening. We have adductor stretching. You're stretching the inner thighs. These are muscles you're gonna use with this workout today. These are muscles you use on the tennis court. You wanna make sure you're prepared and ready. Good, let's go two more steps total. So one more per side. And then we're gonna start back at the top here. Good, and last one. Perfect, okay, so back to the arm circles with the lunge. So keep the arms circling forward, step into that lunge, push off your heel. Again, you judge how deep you wanna go on that lunge based on how you feel. We want to start to gradually increase your range of motion here. That's it. Good, getting circulation to the muscles is gonna increase pliability of your muscles. So when you get to these dynamic movements, you're prepared. Good, let's go opposite shoulder rotation now. Same lunge step, but go opposite direction with the arms. Perfect, last three, two, and one. Good, start off with that A skip again, straight up to start and then gradually work your knee out to the lateral side of your body, okay? Try to get a nice high lift. Imagine you're going over a small hurdle. Perfect. Good, five more seconds. Four, three, two, good rhythm guys, and one. <laughs> All right, opposite arm, opposite leg, up and down. Perfect. Okay, so you know how this works. This set has two rounds of seven exercises with a cardio bloat at the end of each round. We're gonna get this thing going pretty soon here. Last five seconds, four, three, two, and one. That's the yeah. end of your warm up. It's first round of set A, okay? So what we're gonna start off with is a front side back lunge, FSB lunge. Hands overhead, right step forward, right leg. Push off the heel. Move out to the lateral position. Push off the heel. Move directly backwards and come out and repeat. So I'll let you know when to switch sides here. Let's start in three, two, and one. Here we go. All right, Steph. Let's see it here. So the difference with mod one is we're actually planting down in between each step, okay? Hands are on the hips. We're not going as deep as the other mods. We're focusing on form precision here. Pressing off the heel and midfoot, keeping that posture tall. We got Marvin here in mod two. Again, we're going much deeper than mod one. Let's switch legs, guys. Arms are straight ahead. Still pushing off that heel, making sure you're engaging those glutes with each press as you come out of the lunge. Good, mod three with Char here. We're going right down to 90 degrees. Arms are directly overhead, keeping those postural muscles engaged all the way through, nice. Good, so this works a little bit more on the stability. We're not touching in between steps. We have three seconds left, two and one. Next up, the squat rotator. Okay, let's drop down into a 90 degree position, clasp those hands for me, chest high, shoulders back, and we're back side to side with the squat rotator, okay? Starting in three seconds. 
two, and one. Here we go. In your mod three position, this is a perfect example here. Hips are back and down like you're sitting in that deep chair. The only thing that's moving here is your torso. Your arms are following your torso, right? They're an extension of your midsection. Good, mod two, arms are folded instead of straight out ahead. We're gonna keep those hips nice and still, sink your hips back towards me more. There, good, good, good. Perfect, so we're about 45 degree bend at the knee joint. Nice and stable on that lower body. Great job, Marvin. All right, mod one, Steph. We're holding the shoulders. We're still rotating back and forth here. Keep the hips as still as you can. Yep, fire the abs, keep the abs nice and tight. Good, not as deep with the squat. Very good, let's keep this going. We have about five seconds to go. Don't forget your breathing. Exhale every second, twist. Last three, two, and one. Great Ooh. job, all right. Next up is the hay baler side lunge. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna step laterally, right leg. Push off the heel, very important. Bring your arms to the outside of the knee, and you're going back and forth. We're gonna hold that position for half the duration here. I'll let you know when to switch. Starting in three, two, and one. Here we go. If you're mod three, I want you at 90 degrees here, just like Char. That's it. Remember, those arms are an extension of your torso, so your torso does move with the hands. Pressure is on the heels, hips are back and down. This is a tricky one to get form-wise. That's it. Good, really push off that heel for me. Good, so our mod two position, not as deep. Maybe a little less rotation. Good, switch sides. Great job, Marvin. Excellent. Good, and then mod one, we're coming from knee joint up. We're not as deep with the lunge position. We're still getting a little bit of a rotation happening there. These are muscles that are foundational to the sport of tennis that we're using right now. That's it, we're almost there. We got about five seconds left here, Char. Good, nice full twist, get right on the outside of that knee. Last three, two, and one. Okay, it's narrow to wide push-ups. Sorry to do this to you, this is a good one. Okay, let's start narrow position, right? A little more narrow than shoulder width. Regular push-up position, except for your hands, okay? Come down, explode, go wider than shoulder width. Explode again, narrow than shoulder width. Back and forth, guys. This is a tough one, challenging your upper body and core. Three seconds, two, and let's go, here we go. That's it, let's go with Char first on mod three. Very good, look at the depth here. That's what we want in your mod three position. We wanna get right down as long as you can maintain that core tension all the way through. Exhale with each press, guys. That's gonna give you power and give you that height to explode out. All right, mod two with Marvin here. We're walking in and out. So we're narrow, pressing out, and then wide, pressing out. Very challenging, focusing on stabilizers. You're deep stabilizing your body each time you move those arms. And mod one, we got Steph. Doing a great job here, walking in and out, but we're on the knees instead of the feet, okay? So just a little bit down from the mod two, but doing a great job with that. All right, we have less than 10 seconds. Finish off strong here. Exhale each time. If you need to mod down on this, you can do that. Two and one. Okay, let's get you standing. It's time for the X drill. I want you to imagine you're standing in the center of an X, right, a capital X. From that position, you're gonna shuffle out to the far right, back down to center, back to the bottom, center again, Far left, center, far top, left, center, and then repeat. We're gonna continue doing that halfway. I'll let you know when to switch direction, okay? Let's start in three, two, and one. Here we go. Good, remember, this is our first set. So if you don't get this right away, go to tutorials, figure out the pattern, get it down and come back. You have a second set to crank it up, no worries. Get the mechanics first here if you need to go a little slower. That's it, Marvin. Excellent, so mod two, mod three differences is mainly speed here, okay? And then mod one, we're stepping each time. All right, let's switch direction now. So now you're gonna go to the left first. Very good, very good. That's it, good. Mod three, we're firing back and forth. Very good. So make it a nice clear X, nice clear X. We got a definitive center. Very good, very good. Good, remember tennis is about footwork, guys. It's all about quick footwork coordination, right? We're, we're connecting our mind and our body. You gotta think through it a little bit. Last two and one, nice job. Yeah. All right. Excellent, let's lie face down. Prone flutter comes next. So I want you to elevate your body as high as you can. Thumbs up, all right? Head neutral and we're fluttering. Opposite arm, opposite leg. This is for the entire duration. That's your mod three. Starting in three, two, and one. Here we go. That's it. Great example here, Shark. We're firing all those postural muscles, right? Tennis is a lot of forward movement. We want to counteract that by getting the postural muscles active. Scapular stabilization, right? All about getting those shoulder blades stable. It's gonna decrease any chance of injury in your serving arm. Good, keep going. That's it, so the main difference here with your mod two, bent elbows, okay? Head still neutral, we're still up the whole time. Great job, Marvin. And then on our mod one, we have Steph here. We're going about 10 flutters, and then we're pausing for one second before coming up. 
Very good, very good, four per side. Nice, good, keep it going. We're almost there, almost there. I know you're feeling the back a little bit now, feeling that tension build. All right, last three seconds, two and one. Okay, we're gonna continue with some core work here. This time we're working the front and obliques a little bit more. The wacky jack plank is what we got coming up next. So get into your forearm position, right? Feet a little wider than shoulder width. What I want you to do is you're gonna bring same side elbow to same side knee, back and forth. So your hips will move a little bit side to side, but try to minimize that by engaging your core. All right, three seconds till we start. Two and one, here we go. Good, so let's start with the M3, mod three right here. Great job. Notice the stability requirements on that single arm and single leg and the midsection, right? You gotta keep very tight and keep your head in a neutral position all the way through. Good, your main differences with your mod two, like Marvin here, we're just driving the elbows up. So the feet stay still. We're trying to keep pretty stable with those hips. That's it, that's it, minimize movement there. Good job, Marvin, perfect. At this point, you should see a little bit of sweat dripping down below you. That's normal, that's your focus point. That'll get you through the rest of this exercise. So we got step here in mod one. The feet are moving, not the arms. She's getting a lot of range here. That's excellent. Working those obliques, serratus interior, everything that you use for tennis. All right, we got last three seconds, guys. Push through. Two and one. Nice job. Okay, here it comes. We've got the blowout. So standing up, we're going to go into quick feet first. All you can do is you're going to be doing quick feet. I'm going to call out a direction, forward, back, right, or left. I want you to lunge out to that position, okay? You got the racket in your dominant hand, so it'll look like this. Forward, boom, right out, back into quick feet, right, and so on, okay? Starting in three, two, and one. Let's make it happen, here we go. Nice quick feet. All right, forward, that's it. Good, remember, tall posture, Marvin. Chest high, shoulders back, good. Backward, that's it, good, good, okay. Get that racket in your hand, so imagine you got that racket in your hand now, okay? We're going right, that's it, back in. Left. Good. You can keep your dominant hand here, no problem. Left. Right. That's it, Char. Left. Right. Good. Look at that speed. Good reaction time there. All right, keep it going, guys. Keep it going. We got less than a minute left here. Less than a minute left. All right, listen for the call. Listen for the call. Yeah, Marvin. Backward. Good. Back. 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 Forward. Right. Right. Nice, Marvin, you're on it. Good, keep going. Nice and quick, nice and quick. All right, I'm coming with you now. Left. That's it. Left. Forward. That's it. Forward. Forward. Good. Switch your racket hand. Keep the fast feet. No, switch your racket hand. Yes, you never saw that coming, did you? Okay, quick feet. Get ready. Right. Yes, right. Now you're getting backhand. There we go. Right. And left. Forehand now. There we go. Left. Left. Forward. Back, back again, back again, back again, back again, left, and quick feet, quick feet, get ready, last two, right, left, quick feet, done, nice job, nice job, awesome, all right, 45 second break, well done guys, water, drink some water, rehydrate, very good, right, are quick. Okay, so if you push harder here, you're gonna push harder on the court, right? Your weakness is the number one target of your opponent in this game. I want you to be aware of where you can improve this time around. Dig deep, let's go, let's make it happen. We're gonna go right into this, the second round of set A, overhead FSB lunge. So front side, back lunge. So forward, right, and backwards. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so as always, I always bring the transition speed up a little bit between exercises. When we hit the second round, we're gonna continue that here as well. Good, so again, remember, focus on technique and precision. I wanna see that heel when you step forward. That heel drives right into the ground, pushes you back up. Very good, that's it, Marvin. Mod two, we touch down every step. Good, let's switch legs. Good, and mod one, less depth, and we're touching down completely every step as well. That's it, hands are on the hips. Mod three, arms are straight up. We're getting 90 degrees every time and we're never touching down until our foot goes way out into that lunge. Very good. All right, we're almost there. Let's get a couple more steps. We have three seconds left. Two and one. Good, we're gonna drop immediately. 90 degree position, clasp those hands. It's back and forth for that squat rotator. Three seconds, two and one. We're moving guys, let's keep this going. Form is crucial still, even though we're going fast between exercises here. Hip still, hip still, that's it. Good. Remember, your hips stay still by engaging that core, guys. 
Maintain that. Good, good. Exhaling every second twist. That's it, Marvin. Good, that's it. Think about where you're gonna use that power, that power through your torso as we get into the next blowout a little bit later. Good, keep going. We're almost there. We got 20 seconds left. Well past halfway. That's it, yes. So if you're in this position, the legs are burning and you still gotta focus on your posture and your core. Good, it's a lot going on here, guys. It's a lot you gotta think about and control. That's it, keep going. We have less than 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds, that's it, Char. Right through, I'm coming in with you. Last five, that's it. Good, three seconds, two, one. Nice, awesome, all right. Hay baler side lunge, we're gonna keep this moving. So we're gonna go down, again, right down to that position where you're 90 degrees and we're baling hay here, baling hay. Keep your posture tall, three, two, one. Here we go, hold your position, I'll let you know when to switch. Nice. Good, keep going with that, Marvin, and sink back on that heel a bit more for me. There you go. Feel the difference there? Oh yeah. Good. Right away, what you're doing is you're engaging the glute, glute max and glute medius, and then you're feeling your core more as a repercussion of that. Good. Try not to bend over from the waist though. That's it. There we go, Steph, perfect. Just range of motion change. Let's switch sides, guys, right into it. Right down to 90 degrees for your mod three. Full rotation here. Very good, Char. Excellent. Notice how this extended leg is fully straight, right? The foot is flat against the ground the whole time. We're almost there, almost there. Nice. Finish off strong. Three, two, one, and done. Nice. All right, back to those narrow to wide push-ups. Let's make it happen. Starting narrow, feet a little wider in shoulder width, core tight, it's out, and it's in. Just like that, absorb your landing every single time. Three, two, one, let's go, here we go. That's it. If you're mod two, you're walking in and out, but I still want you to get some depth out of this. Range of motion is what you wanna to start to really progress with this push-up, okay? All right, this is a difficult one. Every time you gotta absorb your body weight. Char's doing a great job here, very good. Good, use that breath. If you start to lose form, that's your indication you need to stop, pause, or mod down, all right? Great job here, Steph. So Steph's walking in and out, but we're on the knees instead of the feet. Still pretty challenging, isn't it, Steph? Very. Good, good, feeling the chest, shoulders, triceps, core, everything's working. We have less than 10 seconds left. Good, see if you can finish strong here. Stay with me now, this is your second and last round. Good, keep going. We can do it, guys. Almost there, last on, three guys. seconds. Here we go, Marvin. Two and one, yeah. nice job, awesome. All right, guys, it's the X drill again. So plant yourself in the center of that X for me. We're gonna go 45 degrees to the right, and we'll shuffle up. We're back to center, we shuffle down, back to center, shuffle left, back to center, up, back to center, and repeat, okay? I'll let you know when to switch. Three, two, one, let's go. Here we go, nice and steady. If you have some sweaty surface underneath you, be careful. It could be a little slippery. That's it. Good, good, so keep that posture all the way through. Think chest high, shoulders back. Even though you're shuffling and you're down low, you're not folding over. There should be no C curve in your back, okay? Good job, Steph. So mod one, we're stepping in and out, but we're going nice and quick. Let's switch the direction of your X now. That's it. Good, good, I like the immediate ability to transfer that direction. That is awesome. That's mental focus, coordination. Everything here, speed, agility. Very good, we got less than 10 seconds left. How are we feeling, Marvin? Can you make good. it through? Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. good, good. All right, there we go, that's what I like. Last three seconds, <laughs> two and one, love it. All right, back to the prone flutter. You're gonna lie face down, okay? Lift yourself up as high as you can, thumbs up, and we're fluttering. Keep that neck neutral the whole time. Let's get it going in three, two, and show time. Here we go. Good, so think of what you're working here. Your back, in between your shoulder blades, your glutes, your hamstrings, all these muscles are firing. They're gonna make you stronger. That's it, more balanced. Feel the power and strength of those back extensors firing. Great job, Steph. We got almost a W shape with your elbows here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom, resting. Nice job. All right, mod three, we're lasting up all the way here. Try to lock those elbows out for me. Lock those, there we go, good. I know you're fatiguing. I know you're feeling it, right? You're feeling that burn. Yeah, but keep your head neutral. Focus in on that sweat on the ground on, and it's gonna get you there. Good, you got about eight seconds left. Keep there, a little higher, a little higher for me. That's it, Char, awesome. Good, keep it going. We got three seconds left. Two and one, relax, nice, very good. Okay, don't relax too much because we got the wacky jack plank coming up. Same side, elbow and knee, back and forth, back and forth. All right, three, two, oh, yeah. one, <laughs> here we go. Good, so remember, your hips and shoulders are pretty much in the same line here, right? Very little lift of the hips and definitely no drop of the hips because that's gonna jeopardize your low back. Keep form, form is crucial in all these exercises. Try to unclasp your fist for me. 
right? When you clench your fists, guess what? You get tightening through your shoulders, traps, neck. We don't want that. We want to keep the focus here through your core, okay? And your shoulder stabilizers without affecting the neck. Good, keep going. Mod three here, side to side. This is challenging. A little slippery as well. Yeah, it makes it a little tougher. Very good. Hang in there. We got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Good. We got the last blow here, guys. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Amazing, guys. Yeah. All right, we have the blowout. Hey, tennis is one of the toughest evolved workouts. Tennis two, okay? That's what we're in. We're gonna make it happen right here. Again, quick feet is what we're gonna start with. I'll call the direction. Ready, set, here we go. Get those feet going. Okay, first couple I'm doing with you. Forward, boom, right back, good. Get that racket hand, right. That's it, right. Left, good, good, good. Left, left, back, back, right, right. That's it, guys. Good. Grunt if you need to. Come Grunt on. if you need to. It gives you power, believe it or not. Right. Come on, let's go. Yeah. That's it. Right. Yeah. Good. Keep going. Fast feet. Fast feet. Good. This is one of the toughest workouts in the Evolve 2 program. Tennis 2. Okay. You guys are killing it. All right. Left. Yeah. That's it. Left again. Yeah. Left. Yeah. Good. Just like you're returning that ball. Left. Yeah. Good. Who's on the other side of that net? Serena? Serena Williams. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's going to have to be a hard one. Ready? Left. Go. Yeah. Left. Right, 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 forward, back, switch racket hands, here we go, your non-dominant hand should be now, okay, right, all the way guys, let's go, left, come on, right, left, that's it, right, left, back, back again, back, forward, right, quick feet, get them going, get them going, get them going, nice and quick, Yo, we got less than 10 seconds. You ready for this? Right. Forward. Backward. Left. Right. Right. Last three seconds. Two and one. Nice yeah. job. All right. 45 second break. That's it. Well done. Good well job. done. That's Good, it. Job. Yeah. Good job, guys. Grab some yeah. water. Don't leave me yeah. hanging, Steph. There we go. All right. We hear it again and again. Hydration is so important. Think about it, your muscles are about 70% water. If you're not keeping hydrated, you're automatically reducing your body's ability for optimal performance. This translates to quicker fatigue and reduced speed, power, and endurance. So keep sipping and set yourself up for success. All right, we're gonna get into the next round here. So first round of set B coming up. We're starting off with our crossing lunge drill. If you're in the mod three, your hands are overhead. Okay, bend your knees a little. You're gonna come across 45 degrees, center, across, center, jump up. Okay, and just repeat. This is flowing right through, guys. Not a lot of pausing on this. Three seconds, two, and let's go. Here we go. That's it. So we're 90 degrees if you're in the mod three position like Shar here. Great example. Nice high jump in the center. Perfect. And mod two, we have the hands straight out. Okay, we're going a little bit less than 90, but we're still moving nice and steady through this movement, pushing through the midfoot to fire yourself back up. We're using powerful muscles here. Good. This translates to speed power, agility, everything we're working on. That's it, so mod one, Steph has the hands on the hips, posture still tall, a little bit less depth on the lunge. We got less than 15 seconds here. Try to keep form even though you're tiring out. You'll feel the fatigue in the legs. That's the whole point, right? We're working a little bit into that fatigue. That's it, almost there guys. We have three seconds left here. Two and one, nice job. Okay, we're gonna keep things moving here with the lateral quick feet to forward lunge. So here's your position, quick feet laterally, Forward lunge right, quick feet laterally, forward lunge left. We're going back and forth, rapid speed. Three, two, one, and here we go. All right, Marvin, let's see it. Yeah, drop, and up. Quick feet, drop, and up, perfect. So mod two, arms are straight ahead. Okay, keep the posture tall. Remember, force that chest high. Landing is midfoot. very good, very good. Nice, love the form, Marvin, that's awesome. Mod one here, we got Steph. We're shuffling, one shuffle, and then stepping into that lunge, okay? Very good, hands are on the hips the whole time, trying not to lean forward. All right, guys, here we go. All right, we got mod three here. Char's firing it back and forth here. We're coming right out of that lunge nice and quick. We got less than 15 seconds here. Remember, this is one of our toughest programs here. If you need to mod down, you can mod down. Not every exercise will be the same. Don't be married to your mod, right? Keep it going, guys. We got three seconds left, two and one. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna slow it down a little bit here with the skinny tiptoe teapot squat, okay? On your toes, that's a mouthful. All right, so hands above the head. You're gonna come down, three, two, 
One, hold for two seconds. One second on the way up, and you're gonna lift that left leg back down again and repeat on the opposite side, okay? Starting in three, two, and one. Good, catch your breath a little bit down slowly. Three, two, one, hold for two, yeah, and come back up, leaning and lifting that left leg, very good. It's a transfer of weight, right? We're gonna alternate sides here. Transfer of weight, really focusing on stability here. You're on the toe the whole time, so you're demanding a lot from your lower leg that you're standing on. Mod two, we're getting a little bit less depth with the squat, although Marvin's doing a pretty fine job there getting deep. Very good. Again, the hip heights, the height of your leg is gonna be based on your flexibility as well. Good, excellent. So mod one, hands are on the hips, right? So Steph's still going down into the squat on the toes, still coming up and lifting that leg. We're almost there, we have three seconds to go. Two and one, okay. Up next is the plus sign drill. So what's gonna happen here, you're gonna start at the bottom of a plus sign. I want you to step in to the center, out to the right, back to the center, up to the top, back to the center, out to the left, back to the center, out to the bottom, okay? That's the way you're doing, you're gonna switch directions every time, so it's clockwise, counterclockwise. Starting in three, two, one, here we go. If it's confusing, you have Jana in tutorials to break it down for you. Get the movement down first before you start speeding up, okay? We wanna go accuracy of footwork here. Perfect. All right, so let's start here with mod one. We're stepping a little bit less distance-wise, yeah. but it's just a T as opposed to the plus sign, okay? You're gonna do a great job there, Steph. Okay, mod three, we're firing right through that plus sign. Good, every time, right, left, right, left, stepping in, very good. All right, mod two, we're just decreasing speed here, but still doing that full plus sign. We're not far off, guys, we got four seconds left. Last three, two, and one, nicely done. Okay, shuffling hay baler next. So you're gonna get right down here, okay? What I want you to do is you're gonna shuffle sideways, bale that hay, shuffle opposite way, bale that hay, back and forth, okay? Starting in three, two, and here we go. So remember, your posture is key here. You're gonna stay about 70 degrees or so with the knee bend if you're in the mod three, that's it, good. Good, imagine you're throwing a weight, right? You're throwing a, a heavy bale of hay here. It takes a lot of power, a lot of force, Good, so the range is a little bit different on mod two, just a little bit higher of a squat. We're not getting as deep as mod three. Good, and remember, let your torso follow your arms, okay? Always let your torso follow your arms. That's it, good, okay, mod one. Same thing, we're getting a little bit less on depth, but we're still getting into that hay baler motion here. Good, we got less than 10 seconds starting now, that's it. Good job, Char, very good. So your mod three, you can pick up the pace if you feel like you can. Perfect, three. Two, one, and done, nice job. Okay, next one, let's get the hands behind the head. You're gonna go advance, skater lunge, and we're gonna do a leg lift with this one. So I want you to get down, right about 90 degrees for the mod three, right? You're gonna shift to your right. So shift to the right, lift the left leg, shift to the left, lift your right leg, back and forth. All right, so your legs should straighten out before you actually get into that leg lift, okay? Steady pace, we're starting in three, two, one, and here we go, so we're down over to the side and lift. Good. This is a tricky exercise. You're transferring all that weight to one leg and telling your body it needs to lift the opposite leg. It's pretty challenging. Good, that's it. Check with Jana in tutorials if you're confused a little bit or if you don't quite have it, and then come back to the workout. That's it, Marvin. So mod two, hands are straight out. Very good. So there isn't a lot of skating in tennis, but the skater lunge is very effective for lower body endurance. Here in mod one, the hands are on the hips. We're still getting that side to side, but with a heel lift instead of a full leg lift. And with that lift, you're engaging the glutes. We got three seconds, two, and one. Nice job. All right, let's get down on the ground. We're going into the prone cobra airplane next. So you wanna lie face down, head neutral, externally rotate those arms, lift your body up, and we're just going side to side with a slight pause on each side in mod three. So it's a slight rotation. Maintain that elevation all the way through. Let's start in three, two, one. Here we go. So it's side to side. Here's your mod three again. We're as high as you can. Remember to pause. Nice full rotation with that upper body. Good, we're contracting the lumbar spine, the thoracic spine, everything on the postural area of your low back and your middle back. Very good. Keep that going. So mod two, main difference here, we're rotating without the pause, okay? We're back and forth, back and forth. Arms are a little bit wider there. 
still externally rotating at the hands. And then mod one, we have step here. We're getting a little bit of a pause in between the lifts. So we're lifting up left shoulder, back down, and then coming up, lifting up the right shoulder. Nice job. We're almost there, guys. Less than 10 seconds. The head stays neutral all the way through. That's the tricky part of this exercise. To maintain height and keep that head neutral. Last three seconds. Two and one. Okay, we got the blowout. It's the clock drill coming up, okay? So I want you to imagine you're standing on a clock in the center of that clock. It's feet are moving, nice fast feet. When I call out the clock number, you're gonna come out, lunge into it, come right back up, right? So it's a jump lunge, boom, right back off. All right, so we wanna see power coming out of that position. Let's start in three, two, and one. Here we go. All right, we got that tennis racket in the right hand, guys. Right hand to start. And 12 o'clock. That's it. Six. Six. Six is behind you. Six. <laughs> Not a vertical clock, it's a horizontal <laughs> clock. Nine. That's it, that's it, Steph. Nine. Good, good, good. So mod one, main difference is you're not jumping in and out of it, you're stepping into that lunge. All right, nine again. Nine. 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 Nine, nice, Shark. good. All right. Good, Shark. Six. Seven. Three. One. One. Twelve. Good, switch hands. All right, keep those fast feet going. Keep those fast Come feet on, going. All right, we're gonna pick this up. Come a on, bit. guys. Here we go. All right, seven. Seven. Good. We're training the brain at the same time here, guys. You gotta think on this one. Five. Three. Oops. <laughs> Twelve. Whoa. Eleven. Ten. That's it, Marvin. Ten. Ten again. Four. That's it, Steph. Four. 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 One more backhand for me. Nice. Good, fast feet, fast feet, get him going, get him going. All right, here we go. Three, boom. Three, two, one, 12, 11. I didn't say 11 again. Fast feet, that's it, keep him going. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, very good. All right, 45 second break. Grab some water again. Awesome. Well done, well done. All right, take a quick sip. Because the time's ticking. So in addition to physical and mental challenge of the game, a good singles match requires a high level of anaerobic and aerobic conditioning. Although skill is essential for top level tennis, technique development is easier if you're fit. So we're gonna get into the second round here. I want you to crank it up if you can, okay? So let's pick it up a little bit. Second round of set B coming up. We're gonna go cross lunge drill to start. Hands above the head, we're going across 45 degrees, center, 45 degrees, center, jump up, and repeat, okay? Let's start this in three, two, one, and here we go. Second round, guys, so you know what it's all about. It's all familiar now. Try to push it a little bit more if you can. That's it. Good, good job, Marvin. Great jump in the center there. So try to get that height in the center, right here. Boom, nice. Very good, so mod two, arms are straight out. Still landing on the midfoot every time. Absorb that landing. We wanna be safe with the knee joints. That's it. Good, this is also really developing stabilization in your joints when you're absorbing that landing each time. So mod one, hands are on the hips. Very good, still getting that jump in the middle, but we're walking out to the lunges. All right, we got less than 10 seconds. How are we feeling here, Shar? Good. Good, good, good. So exhale after each jump. Every time you push off, you wanna breathe out. Very good, almost there. We got last three seconds, two and one. Okay, lateral quick feet to forward lunge. Hands overhead, quick feet, forward lunge, quick feet, Forward lunge, we're going right then left. Starting in three, two, and here we go. That's it, good. All right, so we got Steph in mod one position here. Nice quick shuffle, dropping into a lunge, about 45 degrees, staying nice and tall with your posture. That's it, and focus on foot placement as always. I'll always repeat it, because it's good to keep that focus. Nice job, that's it Marvin. So mod two, hands are straight out. Getting about a little bit deeper than 45 degrees with these lunges. Nice, and still focusing on that power coming out of the lunge. All right, mod three, Char is back and forth here. We're gonna finish off strong. 15 okay. seconds left. That's it, Char. Good speed, good speed, very good. Excellent, keep it going. Good, we got less than, less than 10 seconds. Hang in there. I know you're getting tired, this one's exhausting. We have three seconds left, give me a couple more. Two and one, excellent job, nice job, awesome. Okay, we're gonna get to the skinny tiptoe teapot squat next. This is where you catch your breath a little bit. Feet a little bit narrower than shoulder width, hands above the head, on your toes. Three, two, one, hold for two seconds. 
Come back up one second, lift that left leg, and then back down and repeat on the opposite side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. That's it. Nice and slow on the way down. Pause for two. Come back out. Lean and lift. Very good. So mod one, hands are on the hips, but still keep those shoulders back. I want you to stay on the toes all the way through this. Very good. All right, Marvin. Mod two here. I want you to be on your toes a little more if you can. That's it. Feel the shaking. The shaking is normal, right? Your ankles are going to shake a little bit. Your foot's going to cramp up a little. That's your muscles telling you they're trying to stabilize your body and find the center of gravity here. That's it. Very good. Job, Marvin. So arms come up overhead with the mod two as you get into that teapot portion of the squat, right? When you come out of the squat. All right, we got mod three here with Shar finishing off. We got about five seconds left. Let's get one more rep. Yeah, hold for two at the bottom. Coming up three, two, one, and done. Nice job. All right. So next up is the plus sign drill again. So start at the bottom of the plus sign, step in, step right, step center, step left, step center, step forward, center, and back, okay? Starting in three, two, one. Here we go. That's it. Good, good. So here's your speed for mod three, right? We're going nice and steady, but very accurate foot placement here. Very good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Awesome, well done. Keeping that posture as well. You're ready for anything. Good, all right, Marvin here, going just a little bit slower, but same idea, plus sign, that's it. Good, good job, guys, good job. Nice and steady on the feet. And then we got mod one here, Steph is stepping into it, not as far, but we're still going, we're going into it more of a T shape as opposed to the plus sign. That's the main difference here with the pattern. If it's confusing, you got the tutorials. That's it, let's pick up the speed if you can. We have less than 10 seconds. Oh, Push guys. it through, right. that's it, Take last it five, four, that's it, Char, three, Two and one, nice work, yeah. nice work. Okay, shuffling hay baler, we're gonna get right into this. So we're down, shuffle, you're about 70 degrees. Hay baler, shuffle, hay baler, we're going right and left. Starting in three, two, one, go, here we go. So remember, just try to stay the same height with your squat position, okay? Stay the same height as you go. Nice, nice, very good. Even that core nice and tight. Good, all right Marvin, how heavy is that bale of hay you're throwing? Yes, it's heavy, it's heavy. Good. Yeah, keep the posture though. Nice work. All right, mod one. Steph, you're doing a great job here. How you feeling? Starting to feel the demand on your body? Yeah, I do. Doing I think well. This is only a uh, doing well. 100 pound hey, 100 pound. Only. That's huge. <laughs> All right, we got less than 15 seconds left. Good, good. Remember, sink back on those hips. Sink back on those hips. That's it. Side to side. Good. We're almost there. Almost there. Five seconds left. Good. Last three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, advanced skater lunge. Widen up the stance a little bit to start. Hands behind the head. Drop down, sink over to your right leg. Push off the heel, lift the left leg. Come over to the opposite side. Push off the heel, lift the right leg. Back and forth. Three, two, one. Here we go. Right, good, so if you're in mod two, hands are straight ahead. Let's go a little bit more ahead. There we go. Yeah, keep the chest high, shoulders back. Good control there, Marvin. Very good. Good, so we're locking up that knee before the lift. Transfer of weight here. Focusing on keeping that core nice and tight so you're not shifting your body too much. Good. Mod one, hands are on the hips. All you're doing is lifting the heel, but again, you're, you're offsetting your balance a little bit. You're loading one side here. Good, in tennis, you're always loading one side. When you're going to the opposite side of the court, you gotta load one leg before you repeat to the opposite direction. That's it, keep going. Nice and tall with the upper body posture. You have less than five seconds here. That's it, Char. Good, keep going. Last three seconds. Two and one. Nice job. All right, let's lay down. Going back into the prone Cobra airplane. Lift up as high as you can. Keep your head neutral. Externally rotate those hands and you're shifting side to side. And again, in mod three with a slight pause on each side. Okay? Back and forth, starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Good, so really externally rotate those arms. That's it, feel the contraction, feel those shoulder blades coming together and maintaining that position all the way through. Very good. Good, 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 good. That's it, keep those shoulder blades together. Awesome, Marvin. What's happening is Marvin's not pausing in the mod two position. He's going from side to side with no pause, okay? And then your main difference with mod one here, the step, we're lifting one side and then back down for a rest. Okay, complete rest, so the whole body goes down in between reps. Good, we're almost there, guys. Keep your head looking down at the ground. Yeah, keep that neck neutral. Good, feel those low back muscles lifting you up, keeping you elevated. We got three seconds to go here. Two and one, nice job. All right, let's get back up to the clock drill. 
Okay, so again, it's quick feet. I'm gonna let you know if you're gonna go right or left, okay? So if I say right 12, it's right 12. If I say left 12, it's left 12. Meaning right leg, left leg. All right, okay. starting in three, two, one. Here we go, so fast feet. All right, right 11. Yes. Right 11. Right three. Good, you got the idea, keep that going now, okay. Left three. Crossing over, beautiful, very good. Left three. That's it. Good. Stay tall, stay tall, even though you're crossing over. Left three, let's try that again. Yeah, better, good, good. Left three. Right three. Right six. Right six. Right nine. Yes, good, right nine. Fast feet, get them going, get them going. That's a step, get them going, get them going. Good, 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 good. Right 12. Right 12. Good, switch racket hand. All right, right two. Right seven. <laughs> right seven. Good, good, get that mind thinking. Right seven, this is brain and body here, guys. Coordination. Right two. Left two. Left two. This is not easy. This is one of the hardest programs. Come on. That's it, stay with me here. We're doing everything here. Coordination, speed. That's it. Left two. Left two. Left 11. Left seven. Left five. Left three. Right three. Right three. Right three. Fast feet. That's it, get him going, get him going. Let's finish strong. Right three. Right two. Three, two, one. Nice job, well done, well done. Confusing, right? All right, 45 second break, grab some water. Nice work. Okay, we're about to get into a demanding set here. And we have two rounds, so be sure that you get the form and the mechanics down the first round, and then you can always crank it up on the second round, all right? So let's get into the first round. The first round of set C is gonna be burpees, right? Everybody loves burpees. Ew. So what a burpee looks like is you're gonna go right down into a push-up, come back out, and jump up. All right, repeatedly, we're going nice and steady here. That's your mod three. Let's start this in three seconds, two, and showtime. Here we go. So it's down, nice full push up in the mod three, jumping up off the ground, excellent. The burpee is a full body exercise here. We're working everything. Main difference with mod two, we're not jumping up, okay? We're still getting that full range of motion, popping up nice and quick, but we're not jumping out of it. Very good, Marvin. Mod one, we're walking in and out of the burpee, okay? Still steady pace, focusing on form, chest is directly above the hands all the way through. Excellent, excellent, keep it going. Good. Remember to breathe through this. This is a demanding exercise, but guess what? We only got 15 seconds left, and I know you can make 15 seconds, so let's make it happen here. Good. Keep going. That's it, Marvin. I'm coming with you here. Yeah. All right. We're up. Good. Last nine seconds. That's it. Down. And up. We're almost there. Down. And up. Good. Last three, two, and one. Nice job. Yeah. Awesome. Well done. Yeah. Well done. All right. Reaching side bound now. So what you're going to do is you're going to load the left leg. Hands are overhead of your mod three. I want you to reach. Reach, it's back and forth. So you're just extending that lateral arm each time. Let's start in three, two, and one. Here we go, back and forth. That's your mod three. We're still really absorbing that landing, okay? Make sure you absorb the landing with each bound. Midfoot is where you're positioning your foot. That's it. And Steph, for our mod one, hands are down, okay? But we're still reaching side to side. We've got a little bit less distance on the bound, but we're still focusing on absorbing that body weight every time. Good, and Marvin, we got arms reaching out directly to the side, parallel to the ground with each reach, a little bit wider on the step. Very good, nice steady pace. It should be about one second every time. That's it, let's finish off strong. Less than 15 seconds here. Good job, guys. We're working muscles that are gonna help you with speed and change of direction, quick change of direction. That's a serious demand when you're on the tennis court. Good, keep going. Three seconds, two, and one. Nice job, okay, okay. let's break it down to a little bit of stability okay. now, single leg, Deadlift, YWT. So stand on that left leg, bend your knee slightly, okay? Hands overhead, we're gonna slowly drop down, get into that 90 degree position, Y, W, T, shoot back up to the Y and repeat. I'll let you know when to switch sides. We're starting in three seconds. Two and one, here we go. Main difference with the mods is your depth of the deadlift, okay? But we're focusing on straight joint alignment all the way through. So we got shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle. Very good. Perfect, and then on mod one, of course, you're coming in and out of the deadlift. Mod two, we're changing the range of motion a little bit, we're going a little bit deeper, and we're staying in that position until we hit halfway, which is right now. So let's switch sides, Marvin. 
Good, so on the opposite leg, let's look at the mod three. We want nice straight position. We're actually parallel to the ground now, okay? A little wobbling on the leg. You're probably feeling that because you're a little bit tired at this point, but that's all right. We're gonna work through it. So maintain that focus, focus straight down on the ground so your head stays neutral. We have less than five seconds left here. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Last three, two, and relax. Very good. Okay, down on all fours to start. Then lift your knees for me. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna go into the bird dog bear. You're gonna take your leg and arm, extend them, opposites, right? Come back in, crunch elbow to knee, and repeat. I'll let you know when to switch halfway, okay? Three, two, and here we go. Good, so this is a tough exercise to maintain all the way through. Okay, so let's see if we can do it here. Nice and controlled, hips are still, core is tight. Exhale as you reach and extend that leg and arm, okay? Feel like you're stretching the opposite limbs. Good, the main difference here is we're not crunching in on the mod two, okay? Good, let's switch sides. That's it, we'll get right into it. Good control there, Marvin, very good. All right, maintaining that nice, steady pace. Good, main difference with the mod one is our knee is on the ground. So we have one knee on the ground the entire time, okay? We're still lifting opposite arm, opposite leg, still focusing on pelvic stability here. Good, we're almost there, less than five seconds. Let's get a couple more reps. And we got last three, last two, and last one. Okay, we're gonna start slowly with this one. This is called the J drill, okay? What's happening? Start like this. You're gonna step over, cross over right leg, left leg, land on that right leg, load it, come right back. That's where you go for your forehand, okay? Then you're gonna repeat on the opposite direction. Again, over, load, forehand, back and forth. Tutorials are there for you if it's a little confusing. Let's start in three seconds, two, and here we go. Okay, so get the movement down first. You don't have to go too fast to start. Once you have that movement pattern down, you can start to pick up the speed and intensity. Very good. So mod two, awesome. We're gonna go a little slower in mod two than we would with mod three, but pretty much the exact same mechanics here, right? You're doing the same movement. Focusing on that forehand. Yeah, that's it. Good, good job, good job. Okay, mod one. We're stepping in, we're walking through it quite a bit slower, and then jumping right back to the neutral position each time. So same movements, we're just decreasing the amount of speed. We got less than 10 seconds here. That's it, Char. Let's kill it right to the end here. Less than five seconds. Good, 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 there we go. Three, two, and one, nice job, okay. Sewing plank is next. So get into a hand plank position. You're gonna take your right hand, go right underneath past your rib cage. As that arm comes up, you're gonna use that momentum and you're gonna go right into a side star plank. I want you to hold that plank for one second and then you're gonna go right into the same one, same side. I'll let you know when to switch, okay? Let's start in three, two, and here we go. Really controlled, that momentum's gonna throw off your balance, I guarantee it. Yeah, that's it, perfect. Great stability there, right through. So once you gain that balance at the top of the movement, you're going right into your next rep here. Main difference with your mod two, as you can see with Marvin, we're lifting arm and leg, but we're not doing a full star at the top of the movement. Good, we're almost there. Give me one more rep and we'll switch sides. Good, and let's switch directions, switch sides. All right, so we got Steph in our mod one. We're doing the rotation, feet are stacked, and we're doing a full lateral rotation each time. Okay, very good, very good. All the joints are in a nice straight line. Hips are up the whole time, core is engaged. This is a tremendous challenge for that shoulder that's stabilizing the body, isn't it, Char? Yes. Good, good, you're doing well. Last three seconds, two and one, nice job. Okay, one of my all-time favorites, the typewriter push-up. This is a challenge. You're gonna go into a neutral hand position for your push-up, okay? Once you're there, you're gonna go down into the push-up, you're gonna go over to the right, you're gonna pop up to the right and then over to the left, pop up and left and then center, push back out. Then repeat that whole scenario. You ready? Okay. Starting in three, okay. two, one. Here we go. So just take two seconds to get down into that push up. One, two, over to the right, pop. That's it, over to the left, pop, and then up through the center. Nice, good. All right, into it again. Over to the right, pop, good. Over to the left and down into the center and up. Good, nice job. All right, so keep that going. If you have trouble with this one, Mod down, it's a very challenging exercise. Here's your mod two position. There's no pop, it's just side to side. So we're down, right, left, and then back out of that push up. Excellent job there, Marvin, very good. Keep that core nice and tight. Your back should not sag, guys. If it is, mod down. Okay, mod one, we're on the knees, okay? We're going down into a deep push up, side to side again, but we're from the knee position. Very good, we're almost there. Five seconds left, finish off strong. This is a tough one. Last three, two, and one. Okay, here comes the blowout. Here comes a blowout. We're doing another clock drill. This is a vertical clock drill, okay? So you have a clock in front of you, 12 is up there, you got three, you got six, and you got nine, okay? 
You go on fast feet, when I call it out, I want you to get to the number quickly with your racket. Make sense? Come back to the center after each time. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one, here we go. So fast feet, I'm gonna do the first couple with you here. All right, 12, that's it. Three, back to center, three, back to center. Good, that's the idea, that's the idea. All right, six, six, three, two, two, nine. That's it, good. Good reaction time, guys, very good. Nine, seven, 11, 11, up high, remember vertical clock, 11, eight, eight, three. Get back to center, back to center, fast feet, fast feet, get them going, nice and quick, nice and quick. Two. Oh, I almost went wrong. Two, two, 12. That's it, keep them going. Quick, 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 quick. Come on. Good, here we go, Shar, here we go. All right, three. That's it, good, good. Three, nine, nine, six, one. Good, good, there we go, guys. Keep it going. We're almost there, less than 30 seconds. Stay strong. I know the legs are burning. I know that heart's pumping fast. We're gonna stay in the game, though. All right, two, two, five. Eight, nine, ten, one, seven, seven, twelve. We're almost there. Twelve, twelve, twelve. Keep going with the twelve. Three seconds. Two and done. Nice job. All right. Excellent. Forty-five second break. Grab some water. That was a challenge. That was a challenge. Excellent. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we challenge your strength, your endurance, your balance, and your coordination. I want you to focus in on where you may possibly need to mod up or mod down, okay? This is when fatigue sets in, right? Demanding the very best is what I want for each exercise. Don't sacrifice form for reps or speed. You guys ready to get this going? This is your second round of set C. Let's get into it. We're starting with the burpees. We know what that is. Three seconds, two, and here we go. Into the burpees, down, up, that's it, down, up. Good, keep them going, keep that pace going. You can push through this, I want you to push through it. All right, remember this is your last time you're doing burpees right here for this set. Good, keep going. Nice job, Marvin. Good, really stretch it out at the top after each rep. Less than 30 seconds left. Good, that's it. Good, I'm gonna walk you away here. Here we go. Stretch it out. Back down. Step in. Stretch it out. Back down. Step in. Stretch it out. Nice job. Keep it going. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Less than 15 seconds. All right, Char, it's you and me right to the end. We got less than 10. That's it. Good, and we're up. Almost there. And we're up. Give me one more. Three seconds. Two and one. Nice job. Awesome. Well done. Okay. That's like a blowout. That's like a blowout right there. Okay. Reaching side bound comes next. Okay, so don't get too comfortable. We're still driving that heart rate up here. Side to side, hands overhead, reach. Reach, back and forth, okay? Starting in three, two, and here we go. Side to side, that's it. Good, so focus on that absorption. Nice light landing, you should barely hear your foot touch the ground each time. Soft on the knee joints. Very good. So I know you're tired. Even though you're tired, try not to break form here. Right, if you need to slow down, keep your form versus increase the speed, okay? Slowly if you need to, but if you can push it, I want you to push it. We got 20 seconds left, that's it. This is where you get your mind in the game. Your mind controls your body, right? So talk to your mind. Your mind can tell you, it knows you can do it. We got 10 seconds left here, back and forth. That's it, Marvin. Keep going, last seven, good. All right, keep it going, last three seconds, two and one, good. This is where you get to catch your breather as we focus in on balance, okay? So back to the single leg deadlift, YWT. Arms overhead, keep that standing leg partially bent. Get down into a nice stable 90 degrees, Y, W, T, shoot back up and return, okay? I'll let you know when we hit half, here we go. Three, two, one. So all the way down, controlled. Set that balance first, W, T, shoot back up. Very good, Y, W, T, Right back up, awesome. So we're 90 degrees with that mod three. Mod two, a little bit less depth, but still same arm motion here. We're squeezing those shoulder blades every time, Marvin, that's it. Awesome, we're almost ready to switch. And let's switch legs, guys. Very good. So set your position first, get stable, 
then start the arm movements, right? Otherwise, you'll get off balance. Remember, the legs are shaking now by this point. There you go, good. Mod one, we're down into that deadlift, we go through the positions, and then we come back out of the deadlift, touching ground in between. We're almost there, we've got less than five seconds. Last three, two, and one. Okay, bird dog bear comes back up again. Here's your quick demo. Opposite arm, opposite leg, extend nice and high, come in and crunch. Keep that stability all the way through, I'll let you know when to switch. Here we go guys, starting in three seconds. Two and one, good. So nice and controlled, steady but controlled. That's it, the tighter the core, the more stable the hips. Remember that, focus in drawing that belly button to the spine. Good, I know this is a challenging one. That's it Marvin, so main difference with your mod two, we're not crunching in between reps, okay? You got about two more reps here, then I'll get you to switch sides. Good, last one, and let's switch sides. Yeah, try to go a nice steady transfer, get yourself stable. Awesome, mod one here, knee is touching the ground, okay? Hips are stable, you're exhaling, lengthening out with each extension here, very good. Keep going guys, we're almost there, almost there. Good, we got five more seconds. That's it, Char, nice and stable. Stay with me here, three seconds, two and one. Nice job, very good. Okay, back to the J drill, okay? So, you should have it down a little bit more this time, a little bit better, and cross over, load that leg, come in for that forehand, repeat on the opposite side, we're going back and forth. Three seconds, two, and here we go, good. So if you have the mechanics of this down, this is as fast as you can, guys. This is game situation, right? Imagine across the other side there, who you're playing. That's it. Let's return that ball, Marvin, let's return it, there we go. Nice job, nice job. Good, good, so it's all about loading that leg. When you come out of that, that into that J position, you're loading that leg, firing out with the forehand. That's it. Good, good, that's it. Nice step. Keep working it, keep working it. We got less than 15 seconds left, less than 15. That's it, Char. Good, keep it going. Serena's got nothing on you, nothing. Less than 10 seconds, guys, keep going. Keep that intensity up. Yeah, work the speed if you can, work the speed. Five seconds, four, three, two, and done, nice job. Okay, down back into the core here, sewing plank, plank position. So right through, pass the rib cage, come all the way up. Get that momentum into the star, back down and repeat, okay? Same side every time, I'll let you know when to switch. Three, two, one, here we go. We're gonna keep this moving. That's it, sewing through, good. And up, that's the tricky part, right? Trying to prevent yourself from actually rolling right over with that momentum. Mod two, arm and leg lift up, and then we're back down. That's it, Marvin, good, good, good. Try to roll like a barrel, right? Hips don't really come up. It's just a roll. One more for me. Good, let's switch sides. That's it. Your mod one, we're lifting that arm right up and extending. Feet stay on the ground the entire time. Still do a reach through, just not as far of a reach through. Good, we're almost there. We're down to the last 10 seconds before we get into those typewriter push-ups that we've been looking forward to. That's it, extend straight up. That's it, Char. Awesome, last three seconds. Give me one more rep, two and one. Nice work, okay. Push-up position, guys. Here it is again, really quick. Down, one, two, over, pop, over, pop. Come back to center, come right out of that push up and repeat. All right, three seconds, two, and here we go. Let's make it happen here. Very good. Your mod two, you watch Marvin, he's not popping up on either side, he's just moving right to left before coming out. Mod three, we're getting that little pop that happens on every side. Very challenging, these are your shoulder stabilizers firing as you're doing that, right, to keep you stable. If you have difficulty, another point I can give you is keep your elbows tight to the body when you move side to side. You get much more stable there. That's it, good, 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 core nice and tight. Awesome, good, good, keep breathing as you come out. Keep breathing. Good, almost there guys. Good depth there, good depth, Seth. Excellent, keep it going, we're almost there. We got five seconds left. Keep pushing, give me one more rep, last three. Last two, and last one. Okay, we're into the blowout, guys. This is like a five-setter right here. This is, we're bringing it all to the end. This is tough. All right, you got your vertical clock. We know how it works. We're starting right away. Three, two, one, fast feet. Here we go, keep those feet going. This is it, guys, keep focused. This is mental just as much as it is physical. All right, 12. That's it, 12. 12, six. That's it, good, fast feet, fast feet. We're in the game, we're in the game right here, right now. All right, left, no, not left, three, good. Three, right, three, nine, two. That's it, back to center, fast feet, fast feet, fast feet, that's it, keep them going, keep them going. 
All right, two. Back to center. Two. Back to center. Yeah, get right back to center with those quick feet in between every one. Okay? Come on, guys, let's go all the way, all, right. Way. all right, six. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Three. That's it. Good job, guys. Good job. Keep in there. Keep your head in the game. All right, Char, here we go. Okay, you ready? Ready? All right, 12. Boom. That's it. Good, good, good. Very good. 12. Six. Three. That's that way for you. Yeah, that's it. Three. Nine. Good. Very good. Keep it going. We're almost there. We got 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. Keep those feet firing. All right, two. Back to center. Two. Back to center. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm with you here all the way. All the way. Good. One. That's it. 11. 11. 11. Good. 12. 12 again. We got three seconds. 12 again. Two. And done. Nice job. Excellent job. That was tennis two extended program. That was tough. Congratulations. Woo. Well done. Good match. All right, guys. Let's cool it down. Let's cool it down. Grab a little sip of water. Bring that heart rate down gradually here. Wow, that's a challenge. Okay, so we'll bring it in for the first stretch. First stretch, we're just gonna loosen up the shoulders a little bit, okay? Slow, wide circles. So as you come up, try not to shrug, okay? Keep your shoulders down and back. Exhale as you come around every time. We're gonna do about three more, and we'll go opposite direction. So try to externally rotate as you come around. Your thumbs are turning backwards behind you. One more. Thumbs turning backwards. Good, and let's reverse direction. Nice big circles. Again, try not to shrug upwards with those shoulders, okay? We'll try to keep the neck and upper traps out of this as much as possible. Good, last four. Use this one to catch your breath as well. All right, we're gradually bringing that heart rate down. Good. And one, good, excellent. Okay, next one. What I want you to do is you're gonna get down onto one knee, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go forward into this position, right? And then I want you to back your body weight up and then come forward again, just touch that knee to the ground. So it's backwards, toe to shin, feel the stretch through your hamstring and then feel the stretch through your hip flexor. Back and forth, just rock for me back and forth. We'll get about 10 seconds of this. Excellent. So listen, we still have areas of fitness where we're strong and areas where we could use improvement, right? So it's important to balance out our bodies and optimize our performance. You've likely had some personal discoveries in this program, right? Like the game of tennis, practice allows progression. So continue to push yourself and work on areas of improvement. Let's switch legs, guys. Same idea, rocking back and forth, getting deeper into that stretch. Excellent. Good, consistency is the key. So you gotta keep moving. That's the whole point of all this. That's it, back and forth. Good, give me two more rocks. Excellent, and last one. Good, all right, final one. Have a seat. Bring one leg over. We got just a quick hold here. Drive that knee towards your chest. So you're pulling with your right arm, left knee towards the chest. Rotate towards your left. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. And switch legs for me, exact same thing. Pull that right knee towards your chest with your left arm. Rotate towards your right. Hold for five, four, three, two, one and one nice job all right let's get you standing from there well done that was tennis two extended program listen i'm brent thanks for joining me in evolve let's bring it together guys on three one two three boom <laughs> all right well done guys well done